Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we'll talk about the camera features of the OnePlus 11 5G. So OnePlus 11 5G comes with the triple camera setup. So we have already done the camera review of this device. In case you have not watched that video, do check out our channel. We have uploaded the dedicated camera review of the OnePlus 11 5G. It has a pretty good camera and probably one of the few smartphones offering uh, Sony uh, sensor across all the lenses. Uh, in fact, even the selfie camera is also a Sony IMX sensor. Now, uh, the cameras are pretty good and the software experience is also pretty good. So let's see what all features it offers uh, other than the regular modes. So let's go uh, into the camera features of the OnePlus 11 5G. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's open the camera UI. Now camera UI is pretty straightforward. Nothing much changed compared to the previous version. So you have the photo mode and here we have at the bottom uh, the options uh, 0.6x, so, uh, 1x and 2x. 2x is uh, the telephoto portrait lens. You can um, do 2x uh, optical zoom. Now here we have the ultra wide angle camera as well so you can just uh, switch between the lenses using this option now here we have filters now there are a few interesting filters uh, some of them are new in fact uh, the radiance filter is new then uh, serenity emerald so these are some additional or interesting filters available uh, on the oneplus 11 this is uh, actually the camera is uh, tuned by hasselblad uh, imaging so uh, there are a lot of additional filters also included so you can choose these filters for the regular photos then uh, you get uh, the video recording mode here we have the option to choose the the format uh, and the resolution so you can see here uh, 4k 8k 1080p and 720p so if you select 4k you can choose uh, whether you want uh, 60 fps or 30 fps you can choose that and then there is also uh, this ultra steady pro mode so this is uh, extreme stabilization if you want that kind of stabilization it is better to go with the, the ultra steady mode otherwise uh, you do get uh, eis and ois uh, uh, with uh, the regular mode so it looks pretty good now in video recording uh, if you want a portrait video or rather if you want the bokeh effect uh, for your video what you need to do is just select this and you can see that uh, you can uh, adjust the bokeh uh, you can see here if you want a stronger bokeh or if you want a slightly weak bokeh uh, you can select this uh, f2.2 is kind of pretty good bokeh uh, you can see the depth of field uh, if you want strong one you can select this if you want weaker one here now you can see that uh, this is enabled and uh, you can uh, see that uh, um, now the video recorded uh, on this uh, device uh, will be with the portrait mode so here is a quick sample of uh, the bokeh effect on uh, the oneplus uh, 11. so this is the portrait video taken using the oneplus 11 and you can see that the background is currently blurred so we have you can actually change the uh, the uh, bokeh effect on this uh, device so you can see how good the quality is and also the edge detection on this video so this is the portrait video taken using the oneplus 11. next going to the night mode uh, here also you get a night mode for all the three lenses that means ultra wide uh, wide and uh, the telephoto lens both of these uh, or other three of these uh, lenses gets the night mode so here are some samples you're taken with all the three lenses night mode has come uh, pretty good actually in fact one of the really good cameras uh, in the flagship category offering great night mode experience so definitely good you also get this uh, tripod mode you can see here uh, if you are mounting the camera on a tripod without any sort of shake you can uh, use this tripod mode as well uh, so this is very useful uh, if you have uh, uh, if you are rather taking uh, photos using tripods now uh, if you go to the uh, portrait mode here we have the option to take portraits uh, using two lenses either the telephoto lens at the 2x that's the default option here also you can adjust the bokeh you can see here f2.0 is the default depth of field you can change it based on how you want now here also you can select uh, these filters uh, the serenity and other uh, filters are there you can choose that then uh, you also can uh, go with uh, the 1x portrait this means uh, the portraits are taken using the default uh, or rather the primary camera that's a 50 megapixel uh, uh, sony sensor that's the one using portraits not the telephoto so you can switch based on how you want the portraits we would suggest you to go with the telephoto portrait lens that's a dedicated uh, lens for portraits so that uh, gives you get better pro portraits here are some samples you're taken with the, the portrait uh, camera so they have come really good uh, on uh, this device so that was the portrait mode now if you go to the more 
uh, here we have uh, plenty of options you can see here pro mode uh, if you go with uh, the Hasselblad pro mode you can see here you can adjust the, the ISO shutter speed exposure focus white balance everything can be customized here so there are plenty of options here you can uh, see that you can choose the format uh, the raw JPEG uh, raw and raw plus format you can uh, choose between those three format you can shoot in raw format as well so this is the pro mode uh, in uh, uh, the photos you can uh, see that there is film dual video mode uh, uh, then uh, slow motion time lapse the uh, long exposure those are self self explanatory then we have the expand mode so this is a Hasselblad mode uh, so you can go with the expand mode you can see that uh, you can uh, go with uh, the option uh, here so uh, here a couple of samples were taken with uh, the expand mode again uh, something which is pretty good and the Hasselblad implementation definitely works pretty good now if you go to the, uh, the regular photo mode if you just click these three buttons uh, three uh, three lines you can see that there is high res uh, photo option then auto hdr is there uh, it's better to turn on the auto hdr uh, this will get you the best option then uh, you, the, there is a macro mode included the macro is taken using the ultra wide now when you go closer to an object it will automatically switch to the macro mode using the ultra wide angle camera if you want to do that you can uh, enable the auto macro mode if you don't want uh, you can just disable it and uh, the auto macro mode will not work and it will not switch the lens uh, when you go closer to an object so that uh, is an additional option now let's go to the settings here we have the option to turn on the watermark which is kind of self-explanatory then flip selfies then uh, you have uh, this 10 bit color option you can enable 10 bit color but remember uh, the images will be shown properly only if uh, the device supports uh, 10 bit um, color so uh, this is uh, kind of tricky if you have a device which support 10 bit then you can uh, enable it then high efficiency image that is HEIF uh, you can see that format uh, you can enable that as well here so these are some of the options included then you can also see that the sh shooting modes are there you can capture uh, using palm uh, tap to capture so these options are also there this will give you additional options when you are taking uh, pictures so these are some of the camera features of the oneplus 11 5g so the cameras are pretty good on this device in in case you want to know more about the camera do check out our camera review we have up uploaded it on our channel so that was the camera features of the oneplus 11 5g hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day